welcome to quarantines. Yeah, another week. Uh, I think this is all happening. I don't know. We'll find out. Sweet. Got to get a ride down here and we we'll start in. We're ready to rock and roll. If I don't fall off my stool, that could happen. Check one, two. Okay, we got a little something there. Check one, two. Uh huh. We'll see how that feels. As long as I don't play too loud, we'll be good. Oh, we're on. Hey. Yeah, baby. Let me blow my nose. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, oh, boy. Got to go off, off camera and blow my nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they can't hear me, but. <laughs> uh, just uh, we're going to make, you know, a couple of little short announcements before we jump into it. Um, you know, we always. We're honored to have everybody with us. Uh, I know some folks couldn't make it tonight for various reasons. One, uh, we'd like to send a good wishes out and a speedy recovery to our friend Patty Stang, who was in a car accident and uh, broke a few bones and is pretty beat up, but is going to make it. So we're sorry that you can't be with us and that that happened. But um, yeah, wishing you a speedy recovery. Um, and we got just a song for you tonight, for those people who text and drive and do a daydream and do all kinds oh, no. of crazy things. Oh, we have no. the perfect song for you. So we're going to sing that tonight, and hopefully you'll watch this later and check it out. Um, we'd be honored if you visit our sites. Uh, Oriya has actually a couple of sites. She has her first life, uh, which is oriyaaspen.com. <laughs> But if you go to her current site, which is oriamusic.net, uh, you, you can get to her other site. It'll say, there's a link button there. Um, and check out, you know, whatever, new stuff and old stuff. And, and uh, my site is, of course, glenalexander.com. Uh, the other thing is, man, we love the feedback. We love all the comments. Uh, everybody joining us, we just did so great. And I, I answer as many as I uh, have time to do. And... Um, so, you know, if I don't uh, reach out to you or answer you, it doesn't mean we don't read them and, and we love them and, uh, you know, sometimes time doesn't allow. So. But anyway, you know, keep it coming. And in fact, we're going we're gonna to ask you to comment on a couple of things tonight. we got all kinds of different things and treats. Um, what's, what else? Oh, so I know I, I put up the Venmo and I'm just going to say, and I said it in a post, you know, uh, hey, look. Yeah, we love it. We love it. If you know, if you got a couple of bucks and you you feel in the mood and you uh, uh, can spare it and want to send it uh, uh, for the music, then we're thrilled and thank you and we're grateful. And if you don't have any money, don't send it. There you go. You know, there's no pressure. We're we're just happy that people are with us. If you have money, but you want to keep it for yourself, don't send it. <laughs> there you go. You know, so. It's just not a big deal. Uh, more importantly, we're thrilled to have you with us and uh, that everybody's safe and, and doing okay and all that business. And, uh, you know, we're working through this whole crazy time. This is a crazy time. So, uh, again, I hope you have your quarantini. I'm going light tonight. I'm hitting the vitamin V. Um, <laughs> is in vino. Oh, I thought you were going to say vodka. <laughs> well, typically it is vitamin B vodka, but I'm going light tonight and trying, you know, I've been working it pretty hard, this staying at home thing. Wow. Anyway, uh, cheers. Here's the quarantines. We're going to jump Where right in. Where did I put my drink? Did yeah. I even bring it no, down? No, you better go get one. Oh, my life. Oof. Hold on. We're going to try to keep things moving tonight. I one. We're starting, of course, with that by getting our drinks. Anyway, you know, we, we have, uh, man, I, we have colleagues and friends that are doing this, you know. My man Jeff Kazee is doing every Wednesday night, and and he's just been killing it, you know. So, so fantastic, and we love it. And, uh, you know, hopefully one of these days we'll all be back together and be be playing some music for you, for, for you folks live. But right now we're doing what we're doing, and uh, like that. So I'm going to start off with a tune that is on the last Shadowland record, but that, frankly, I have never played out live. We recorded it, and, uh, you know, it's a pretty electric tune. It's the last tune on the record. 
It's called uh, The Only One. Uh, actually, Mike Rossi gave me that title. I love that. He had a whole scene going on, which I didn't do, but I love the title, and I wrote a song based on it. So here we go. Frame. Yeah, I think you should. Hold we, on. we need that turkey leg. We... <laughs> Man, that's a serious turkey leg, that one. This one's really good. <laughs> I don't know. You know, we might have to work on that for next week. Okay, I'm jumping into it. Trick. Uh, Woo! 
<laughs> Bye, turkey leg. All right. Uh, we're going to alternate tonight. This is a tune off of Raya's uh, record. We've done this a time or two, maybe, but we're doing it again tonight. It's a great song called... Lucky to be me. Uh -huh. I'm wondering. I feel like I'm going to just turn you up a touch, maybe. All right. Well, I mean, I was singing pretty low on the last song. Uh, you don't know how I'm going to be. Uh, you know, I might be a bit louder. Okay, well, uh, give us a little bit. We'll see how that works out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Guys, I'm sorry. This is like, I think the second or third time I've worn this exact same shirt on a broadcast. Um, but like, who really cares? I mean, like, <laughs> nobody. I know, I know you don't. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, earlier today when I did the little promo thing, I realized I hadn't shaved all week. And if I'd had my hair and pigtails, I'd have been a dead ringer for Willie Nelson. So I decided to shave tonight. <laughs> pigtails? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, he braids it on both oh, sides. Oh, let's braid. Yeah, I guess that. Oh, yeah, they're not they're right. Pigtails, pigtails stick pigtails out. Are like up here. Yeah, it shows you what the hell I know. Pigtails are like if I had another one of these. Okay. On this side. He had. He got braids on both sides. He looked like a damn. Indian. Uh, that's what he looks like. Yeah. He's a country hick, killbilly, yeah. hillbilly from Abbott, Texas. He's a, he's a white dreamer. We we love Dream Willie though, man. Indian. I'm telling you, that's that's a that's a cool cat. We love that cat. All right. Uh, here we go, deep off into it. My mother told me when I was young that I could be whatever I wanted. She couldn't have been farther from the truth if she could see what I am now. Maybe those girls who used to laugh and say You're never gonna do much with life Maybe they were right and I'm nobody I just wish I could get through the strife But I won't say I will try harder every time Get to my success Yes, I'll do something, be someone in this life. Know what I want to be. This is the life that was chosen for me. Something I can't get out of. This is the dream that I just couldn't see. Something I It's a brand new tune. Well, I say brand new. 
We did it a couple of weeks ago. We, you know, we're still trying to figure out how it goes, but it's a fun little doodad. And uh, it's just called Broken. No matter how hard I try Spinning round and round Spinning round 
for you right there now you know uh we just uh, uh uh well we're gonna ask you that you're patient with us tonight because we're just gonna do a whole bunch of songs that i know no one's ever heard and you know sometimes that's you know you want to hear your songs you know and we're, we're gonna do a few that you know <laughs> we're gonna do a whole lot of songs that you don't know tonight is the all originals night all originals. you tell them that yes already? and a lot of new songs yeah and keep Keep your eyes peeled because we're going to be doing first album of Shadowland at some point um, for one whole live stream. And then the second album of Shadowland for one whole live stream. And then Yellow Paint for one whole live stream. <laughs> yeah, and we talked about that today and hopefully by then maybe we'll be out of the doghouse on this shit and, you know. I wouldn't count on it. Yeah, I know. Wishful thinking. Well, what about this song, Al? What's the story? All right, so this song is called Over the Rainbow. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I was 14, and then he helped me write it after I gave it up because he thought it was cool, and I was just ready to be like, fuck that. Sorry. But, you know, <laughs> and he took it, and he was like, no, 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 like, I'll write, I'll write the chorus. Like, I know, you know, you wrote, like, the verse and the pre-chorus but like I'll write the chorus and so it ended up being one of my favorite songs on the yellow paint record after he uh, graciously helped me out all right here we go a little over the rainbow <laughs> I 
So this next one, uh, well, it has, we've never done this. It's never been recorded, and uh, hopefully we can kind of figure out how it goes. Uh, uh, and I'm going to say to everyone who's listening, I would like for you to see if you n can figure out what this song is about. I'm going to tell you, it's a really unique place out in the middle of nowhere uh, in Kansas. And... Uh, well, we're going to try to get some of it. <laughs> it's a thing called Elroy's. Uh huh. Make you pay your money down Mama got the dough And Papa got the sauce She's squeezing in and pushing Give you little toss Meet him with love And he says he's a boss Elroy Now Elroy Come on down to Elroy One and only Elroy Come on in and make yourself at home
<laughs> well, they're just lyrics. We scratched them out on a piece of paper. Anyway, oh, there's okay. Elroy for what's you. What's next? What do we got next? Oh boy, this is. Oh, Y'all have fun. not heard this song live in eight years. It's been eight years. All right. Well, drop down in the comments. You think? I mean, I I said it last week, but guess. Just guess real quick before we start. Hold on. Huh? All right. Put your guesses in now. <laughs> what 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 are we guessing? What song? We haven't done this song in eight years. You gotta guess. You gotta guess what song it is. <clears throat> well, probably half these people never heard it. <laughs> Maybe they have. You never know. There might be a couple out there that heard it. It's a cool tune. Uh, and in fact, uh, there's a great video up for this. And uh, we had a blast recording this song and making the video and the whole nine yards. And uh, Well, okay. Do we think we got it? Yeah, I think I've said enough. <clears throat> Uh, wow, okay, so, oh well, boy, oh boy. Song, do not cry, I swear Yeah, to God, I know. I, I have to wipe your tears tonight. I know it. I, um, I ain't going to fall apart on this, uh, so, but I will just say a minute here about this song. Uh, Got to get myself squared away here. Uh, I've only done this once live, actually, a couple of years ago. I don't, I should know it, but I never play it. Anyway, I wrote this song for my dad, and, uh, I'll just say, I know a lot of people know my dad that have, that have been watching and written in. And, uh, well, uh, he's about the toughest, hard, most hardworking, gritty son of a bitch I ever met in my whole life. And uh, I think he, I've never seen anybody work like that. I believe he could work anybody under the table. Um, uh, and just, you know, in his example, he hung She Rock his whole life and uh, taped and finished and and him and uh, my uncle, just the two of them, no crew, the two of them could hang 175 sheets of sheetrock in a day. You just think about that. Anybody's ever handled any of that? 
I don't know if there was anybody around that could even hang 100 sheets a day. And those guys, 175 sheets. Anyway, um, and, uh, you know, he built cabins 10,000 feet in the mountains with nothing but a chainsaw and a Willie's Jeep. And by the way, the second one he built, he was 70 years old. Hell, I couldn't, I couldn't do that on my best day when I was 40 or 50 or anything else. So, uh, this is a timeline song. You know, he was a sergeant in the army. He was tough as hell. And, uh, uh, man, he, you know, if you got out of line, uh, look out. He's not <laughs> like that with his grandkids. No, and, but the other great thing was if somebody else was getting out of line with you, uh, an adult or even a teacher at times, uh, He'd straighten that right on out. He always had your back. So I'm going to try to get through this. And uh, wow. It's called Hands of a Working Man. And uh, I did this a couple of years ago. I know probably my good friend Sherry might be checking out. And and uh, her dad's cut from the same cloth. He brought us back, Shadowland, to play my hometown, Mays. And uh, Claire has passed on. But he's another hardworking man. And... Uh, so I did this, and he and my dad were sitting right together and uh, sang this song for him. And uh, I think it was a special moment for everybody. So this goes out to the working man. And when I wrote this song, I'm just saying, these are the words from both my brothers as well. Uh, they ain't just mine. Okay. <laughs> soft touch skin split and rough I feel the gentle power of a man tall and tough I'm a baby in the crib now he's walking me to school he had hands like a giant callous from hammers and tools I'm holding the hand of a working man He's making a living and doing the best he can He taught me how to work Taught me how to hunt Taught me how to fish And how to drive a truck He taught me to be honest And not to cheat or lie with these hands of steel He can tan your backside I'm feeling the hands Of a working man He's making a living And doing the best he can As a young man I was defiant I was ornery and loud I did so many things that made him less than proud. Still, he gave me all the things, all the things he never had. He made tremendous sacrifice. Yeah, that's my dad. I'm feeling the hands of a working man. As his way, sometimes I don't understand. I'm feeling the hand, the hand of a working man. Stood behind me through tough times, through troubles and being a fool, through fights, drug abuse, and getting kicked out of school. He supported me through college. And the path that I chose In marriage and raising a family I needed his direction God knows I'm looking at the hands Of a working man He's making a living And doing the best he can As his way I don't always understand I'm 
looking at the hand, the hand of a working man. The years have gone by, the fire in him subside. He's withered down and frail, and it makes me want to cry. But he's more of a man than I'll ever be. He's a giant, the biggest man, the biggest man to me. I'm holding the hands of a working man. He's made his living and he's doing the best he can. his way that now I understand I'm holding the hand the hand of a working man I'm holding the hand the hand of a working man I'm holding the hand the hand of a working man goes out to my dad, Leland Alexander. He's a bad cat. All right, we're going to lighten up the mood a little bit. Oh, boy. Look out. Boy, are we? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> gonna I'm going to switch guitars. Oh, God. oh, is that what we're doing? Okay. Oh, wow. I got, oh, I jumped on ahead there. Okay. All right, so this oh, is this a is song great. that I wrote when I was like four or five years old. The, the premise behind the song is that I didn't know what a hubcap was and I thought it was like some creature that comes into your bedroom at night and scares you, like scares little children or whatever. And like turns out it's actually just like wheel coverings on the car. <laughs> but um okay, whatever. I yeah. thought it was some creature and so I wrote this song based on that. So Araya would go to the piano and, and you know, plink these tunes out and sing them and Sometimes I wouldn't pay attention, but if it started coming around several times, and in this case, many, many times over a few days, I was like, okay, she got one. She got something. So <laughs> I helped her put some chords to it. And I, I just got to say, we, we played this when she was eight years old in Colorado. We did a house concert there. And there's a mountain man there who was a great uh, wood carver. Man, I have some of his work. We used to have one on the front porch uh, uh, here in New Jersey till somebody stole it. He was a wood carver. He worked with a chainsaw primarily uh, and knives and stuff and his name was Gordon Pazine and the interesting thing is Gordon was born right here in New Jersey. He was born in Warren, New Jersey and uh, it was when the draft was on for the Vietnam War and he didn't want to be told what to do so instead of being drafted he said to hell with it and he joined the Marines and he served in Vietnam and uh, anyway Gordon was unbelievable and he was exposed to Agent Orange and he had health problems and he died in his sleep. You'd think he was only 64 years old. But uh, he loved this tune. This was his favorite song and uh, it's just a silly little tune, but you're going to love it too. Probably out of the whole night, this is the one you remember. <laughs> it's called Hubcap. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to get it. Try to get some of this. Mm -hmm.
for you right there oh now. Oh boy, now we got a really crazy one. Yeah, I'm gonna switch guitars for this. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. For The time's just flying by, I tell you. <laughs> we hope everybody's having fun out oh, there. Oh, yeah. We're having fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Okay. The, well, I got all kinds of stories about this. Uh, first of all, this guitar that I'm picking up, now that's a conversation piece right there. Ah, uh, see if it's going to work. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know, I know you can't, this telly's got, uh, it's loaded with signatures, and uh, I have to say, uh, I got this from my good friend, and he's a great musician, he was in Nashville for a long, long time, now I moved back to Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, that's Rusty Russell, and uh, I bought this guitar from him. And so when he had it, he started, uh, I don't know, just when he was, you know, on sessions and gigging and working with people, people who were there, he had them sign it. And he had uh, Leroy Parnell, Brent Mason, Steve Warner, and Chet Atkins sign it. Uh, and so when I got it from him, I decided, oh, what the hell, I'll just continue that. <laughs> and, man... I mean, I have some great stories. I did, you know, I've, I've just interested, ended up in interesting situations being a country hick from Kansas. I don't know how that happened, but I was doing a gig that Les Paul was on. And this is a Fender guitar, by the way. And uh, I, I said, Les, man, I got this guitar that everybody signed. And I know it's the other camp, not the Gibson camp, but would you sign it? And of course, he's just the sweetest guy on the planet. And uh, Les Paul signed it. Then uh, I was opening uh, for James Brown playing with Mark Pender. That was an incredible, just an experience I'll never forget. We were in sound check, and James came out, talked to us for 45 minutes, danced on stage. We talked, he was, in fact, we were at the Paramount down in Asbury Park, and he said that was the first place he did the Boogaloo dance. It was the Dan was saying he started dancing, and wow, it was just incredible. Uh, and I happened to have this guitar there, so I had James Brown sign it back here. And I don't know, everybody's, everybody and their dog has signed this. So many I, I, I can't get into. But uh, And then Rye was, came to that gig. She met James Brown that night. After the show, he doesn't talk to anybody, but he signed an autograph for her and gave her, I think, a kiss on the cheek. And, yeah, you know, it was one hell of a night. I think he had a soft spot for kids. Yeah, because he wouldn't, he wouldn't <laughs> even speak or uh, any adults or anything after the show. They, in fact, everybody said, you know, you got to get it before the show. But anyway... Uh, so, yeah, and we're now, this next tune we got, well, <laughs> I'll just say this, if there are youngsters about, this might be time uh, to Two sign way, off, or, yeah. or uh, yeah, go get a snack, or put them to bed, or something, because this has got a couple of loose little words in it. Uh, I've already sent one of those tonight, I already yeah. said one. I have a rather colorful vocabulary, uh, like everybody else in my family, this family, and Greg and Lee and, you know, I guess we inherited it. Anyway, uh, but I'm going to just say, anybody in this area that, if you drive on the roadways, this song is for you. I'm going to tell you right now. And if you sing this song, when people are making you crazy and you want to scream and just, you know, give everybody the finger and whatever, uh, it, it'll, it'll relieve a lot of tension. So, you know, anybody in L.A., man, I mean, you know, L.A. in here, they got to be just the worst. There's a lot of... You know, people. well, yeah, it's New York City and it's LA, but yeah. LA is worse than New York City, I would think. Yeah, it's pretty bad here, but you know, people get in the car and they do everything 
but drive. And that's what this song is about. You know, I've seen people literally driving with their knees and eating a ham sandwich with one hand and talking on the phone with the other. Damn, people ought to be slapped. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, uh, Lollygagging. Yeah, the title of this song is Lollygagging, Dilly Dally, Fiddle Dick, and Fumble Fuckers. And here we go. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know the things I think of. Sandwich and get off the phone. Move out the way, why don't you stay at home? Pull your head out and try and see the light. Your pathetic awareness make a saint wanna fight. What you doing hanging in the fast lane? Moving so slow, you know you're driving me insane. Who elected you, Captain Speed Regulator? Blood pressure rising, you make me a people hater. You lolly gagging, dilly dally, dilly dicking, bum the fuckers. Lolly gagging, dilly dally, dilly dicking, bum the fuckers. You're holding your butt, holding it up, driving me nuts. Woo! A sucker. The rear view mirror, you ain't alone. If you're gonna drive your car, please don't get stoned. You're rubbernecking and daydreaming, making me crazy. Are you dumb, drunk, or slow, or just lazy? You suburbanite, weed whacking mini banners. Show some respect, have some road manners. You deep douchebag, dribble butt dorks. Make me wanna poke my with a fork. Lolly gagging, dilly dally, bill dicking, bum fuckers. You lolly gagging, dilly dally, bill dicking, bum fuckers. <laughs> You're dragging your butt, holding it up, so driving me nuts, but dragging mother sucker. quirky one, isn't it? <laughs> that's right up there with the odds are good. Oh boy, that's another goodie. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, what do you got? Wannabe. No. Oh yeah, we're doing that now. And then we'll do hell and all. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, we got a special treat for you now. This is going to be cool. Um, first of all, I'm putting down the guitar and getting out of the way. That's one of the best parts about it. Well, <laughs> we can't be so sure about that. 
So it occurred to me, and we're g we might do some more of this uh, with certain tracks and certain things, but this is a Sorry, rise. I gotta go scratch my ass. Oh man. Oh man. Share <laughs> that. No, I'm uh, kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> After lollygagging, I figured it'd be fitting to say that. Before okay, we're gonna we're gonna get back on board and clean things we're gonna, up. We're gonna clean our butts and then uh, we're gonna come back. You know what I'm talking about though with that song, man. Man, thank God, at least now I'm hardly driving. Man, my blood pressure's down. I'm feeling a little bit better. Anyway, uh, so this is Araya's most recent single called Wannabe, which is really great, killing. Uh, Mike Mancini, you know, programmed a lot of stuff, played keys on it. I played a little guitar. And uh, no relation, but Larry Alexander, we keep him on the team. He's part of the team. He mixed it and mastered it, and it's, uh, it's a cool tune. Araya played piano on it. Um, yeah, it's a really cool song. Your last name is Alexander, and you want to join the crew, you know. Yeah, that's right. We're okay. taking applications. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go man the controls. All right, I guess uh -huh. maybe I should stand up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll stand up so that I'm in the middle, not being such a... Uh-huh. All right. Uh, I'm going to go know when he's ready. Where are you? Okay, I'm getting ready to start it. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. That's not fine. Yet, not yet. Okay. I don't mind. Ready? Yeah, we're ready. There we go. I woke up this morning. I got out of bed. you die. 
down sometimes, but in the end, you just gotta stay true to you. And people can tell you that you're never good enough, but in the end, you're the only one who decides what you do. You know, technology. That's yeah, some shit whatever. You can count on. Yeah, we don't care oh. for it very much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got the next one by yourself. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, yeah. that should be rough. <laughs> I'm lost when O leaves the room. That was yeah. cool. Nice work. I'm sorry about the. No, that's fine. Like, like I said, you know, technology. What a bunch of horse I, shit. I don't really care, honestly. I mean, we got to do it. We got it. Uh, folks, uh, I just got to get a little more vino going. The glass I hope is empty. You guys weren't so Here, you know, the great thing distraught. is what's that? <laughs> I hope they weren't distraught over the skip because uh, well, you know what? We just started we it again, man. We are not. That's a great song. Oh, great yeah. track. I encourage you if you don't have it, man, download it. It's cool. That's it just I love it. I love it because that was one of the one, that's one of the greatest things I produced, mostly because I just stayed out of it. <laughs> I didn't do much on it. A little bit of guitar, but not much. Thanks, uh, you know. That was one of the smartest things I did, was just stay away from it. And it's a Mike Mancini. Wow, great job. And Larry, too. And you, Raya, your oh, song. Thank you. All right. Um, so I am I know I'm just babbling now, but uh, here, cheers. Happen, happy quarantines, quarantini night. Friday. Yeah, baby. It's so great to be home, although I have to say I'm consuming a lot of this. I don't ever drive. I don't. I don't. You know. I don't go anywhere. I just get up. And, get up yeah. And whatever. Drinking. Yeah. I just get up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. So here's another one of these tunes that. In fact, we're going to do two in a row that came. The titles came from both of my friends who are married. Uh, this one, Bob Magnuson gave to me, and I'm just telling you right now. Wow. Uh, if I'd have written this song 50 years ago. Uh, I, I was born in the wrong time. If I'd lived in William Nelson's time, this would have been hit. Uh, it's a great title that he gave to me. And so I wrote a song based on that. Thanks, Bob. Uh, it's called Your Love is on the Colder Side of Warm. What, what, what a great, great lyric. All right, here we go. It's going to be kind of hard to follow that last one. <laughs> No. All right. We used to be an inseparable team. We fell in love, then grew apart. Now what we share is a distant dream Left holding the pieces of a broken heart the glow of your love once lit up the room Is a spark gone from too many tears Now it's tired and worn like an old dusty broom Your love has faded over the years I know you all too well I look in your eyes It's easy to tell Maybe it's a calm Before the storm Cause baby Your love Is on the coldest side of war
Is there someone else, some place you'd rather be? You stand before me, but you're not there. The distance between us, any fool can see. I still want you, need you, and I still care. I know you all too well. I look in your eyes, it's easy to tell. Maybe it's a calm before the storm. Baby, your love is on the cold side of war. Maybe your love is on the cold side of war. All right, that's my little country tune. I know you don't like my banging over here. I thought no, it's good. All right. I, thought, I saw you shaking your head like, oh, don't, don't. Hey, do you that. know what? Let's do this. I don't know what time it is, but it's you... like nine oh. Oh, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's do common ground and then finish with this, since I got okay, this guitar yeah, on. Time, yeah. I'll try to get some of this okay, right. Be a long one. And I still when you feel you're the wrong. The walls of misunderstanding come tumbling down. You and me meet on common ground. Been a long time since we've spoken. The lines of communication can never be broken. We may not see eye to eye, but I know we're heavenly bound. You and me meet on common ground. Common ground. 
That's what we got to do. We're just going through crazy times, political insanity like I've never seen before. Disrespect, divide in the party that is just insane and bizarre. Yep. We got to knock that shit off and meet on common ground and pull it together, people. Okay, I'm done preaching. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What, is this oh, what I think oh, it is? No, yeah, yeah, we're finished. Okay, right? yeah, we're wrapping it up. We've got right. one more here. Yep. Uh, yeah. Also, if you don't have the Shadowland CDs, you want to get that. You know you want to get it. If you don't have it, and, you're missing out. And, you are just sincerely and, missing out. And if you don't get the CD, download it or, or download it on Spotify. Grab it on, yeah, you know, just play grab it, it anywhere. It. Just stream it. You know, if you don't have the money to do it, you got to listen to that though. And it's the same thing with Yellow Paint. I want to see every single one of y'all listening to Yellow Paint. If you have a Spotify account, yes, it's on YouTube. Yes, all the songs on YouTube. You don't have to pay nothing, but listen. Because, you know, we love you, and we hope you love us too. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm saying. Whatever, it's some bullshit. It's all good, it's all good. I'm hey, once again, we thank everybody for being with us uh, on a Friday night. Uh, it, it really is just so, and I mean that, I'm just so appreciative, we both are, that you share your time with us. I mean... I know there's a million other things you could be checking out, movies you could be watching, and blah, blah, blah. And the number of people that have been tuning in and commenting, uh, it's, it's, it's been uh, kind of unbelievable. So we love it. We appreciate it. Thank you. And we love all of you. Yes, we do. Be safe, you know. Uh, I'm just trying to tune up a little bit. So, it does, so it's, I don't know. It'll be better. <laughs> all right. Look at that. All right, I'm just going to start uh, out front. We'll figure this out. Wow, I don't have a strap on, which means like I don't have a seat belt, which is a little frightening, but I'm going to try to deal with it. Okay. <laughs> That's a little too loud. I know it is. Oh, no.
is alright. Ain't no looking back. Yeah, I'm rocking 24/7. I gotta go through hell. Go through hell. Go that song written by this man right here you need it you need it you need it man thanks for being with us we're gonna call it a night uh, uh i hope everybody had a great time we love y'all yeah we sure do be safe take care of yourself take care of other folks here's a riot getting ready to sign off all right we'll see you happy friday uh-huh <laughs>